time which should be spent in facing up to our predicament. I fear that scoundrel's threats weren't made in sport. Do you think he'd have the nerve to go to court? I'm sure he won't. They find it all too crude. A case of swindling and ingratitude. Don't be too sure. He won't be at a loss to give his claims a high and righteous gloss. And clever rogues with far less valid cause have trapped their victims in a web of laws. I say again that to antagonize a man so strongly armed was most unwise. I know it. But the man's appalling cheek outraged me so I couldn't control my people. I wish to heaven we could devise some truce between you or some compromise. If I'd known what cards he held, I'd not have roused his anger with my little plot. <coughs> <laughs> what is that fellow looking for? <laughs> Who is he? Go talk to him and tell him that I'm busy. Good day, dear sister. Kindly let me see your master. Uh, he is involved with company and cannot be disturbed just now, I see. I hate to intrude, but what has brought me here will not disturb your master in any event. Indeed, my news will make him most content. Your name? I'll just say I bring greetings from the Sieur Tartuffe, on whose behalf I've come. Sir, he's a very gracious man and bears a message from Tartuffe. Which he declares will make you most content. Upon oh, my word, I think this man must have been seen and heard. Perhaps he has some sort of settlement to suggest. How shall I treat him? What manner would be best? Control your anger. And if he should mention some fair adjustment, give him your full attention. Good help to you, good sir. May heaven confound your enemies and may your joys abound. A gentle salutation. It seems to confirm my guess that he is here to offer terms. I always held your family most dear. I served your father, sir, for many a year. Sir, I must ask your pardon. Uh, to my shame, I cannot now recall your face or your name. Well, yeah, the name. I'm from Normandy, and I'm a bailiff, sir, in all modesty. For forty years, praise God, it's been my boast to serve with honor at that final post. And I'm here, sir, if you'll permit the liberty, to serve you with this writ. To what? Uh, please, sir. Let us have no friction. It is nothing but an order of eviction. <gasps> you are to move your goods and family out and make way for new occupants without the permit or delay and give the keys. I leave this house. Why, yes, sir, if you please. <clears throat> this house, sir, from cellar to roof, belongs now to the good Monsieur Tartuffe, <gasps> and he is lord and master of your estate by virtue of a deed of present date, drawn in due form with clearest legal phrase. Your insolence is utterly amazing. Man, my business here is not with you, but with your wise and temperate father, who, like every worthy citizen, stands in awe of justice and would not obstruct the law. But not for a million, sir, when you rebel against authority. I know that well. You will not make trouble here, sir, or interfere with the execution of my duties here. Someone may execute a black tattoo on that smart jacket of yours before you. Sir, oh! make your son be silent. I'm urging you to have a mental to some nasty threat of violence in writing a report. This man, loyal, the most disloyal sort. I love all men of upright character, and when I agreed to serve these papers, sir, it was your feelings I had in mind. I couldn't bear to see the case aside of someone else who might have seen you less, and so subject you to unpleasantness. What's more unpleasant than asking a man to leave his house and home? <laughs> You'd like a short reprieve. Well, if you desire it, sir, I shall not press you. But wait until tomorrow to dispossess you. <gasps> Splendid. I shall come in. Spend the night here, then. Most quietly, with half a score of men. For form's sake, you might bring me just before you go to bed the keys to the front door. <laughs> My men, I promise, will be on their best behavior and will not disturb your rest. But bright and early, sir, you must be quick and move out all your furniture. Every stick. The men I've chosen are both young and strong, and with their help, it shouldn't take you long. So in short, sir, I will be both pleasant and convenient, and since I'm being so extremely lenient, oh. please show me, sir, the like consideration, and give me your entire cooperation. I may be all but bankrupt, but I vow I give a hundred louis here and now just for the pleasure of landing one good clout Right on the end of that complacent snout. Careful, don't make things worse. Oh, my boots all itches to give that beggar the king of the riches. Monsieur Loyal, I'd love to hear the whack of a stout stick across your fine dry back. Take care. A woman too may go to jail if she uses threatening language to a 
Enough, enough! Sir, this must not go on. Give me this paper, please. And then be gone. Oh. Au revoir. And may God give you all good cheer. May God confound you and he that sent you here. Now, mother, was I right or not? This writ should change your notion of Tartuffe a bit. Do you perceive his villainy at last? I'm thunderstruck. I'm utterly aghast. Oh. Come now. Be fair. He mustn't take offense at this new proof of his benevolence. But he's acting out of selfless love, I know. Material things enslave the soul, and so he kindly has arranged your liberation from all that might endanger your salvation. Will you not ever hold your tongue? You don't come, you must take some action and at once. Go tell the world of the low trick he's tried. The gene of will surely be telephoned by such behavior, and public rage will not allow the wretch to carry out his plan. 